Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to have a look at um, a little panel that's often not used, or certainly I didn't use it for a long time because I didn't particularly know what it did, so I ignored it. Uh, and it's down here. In this lot here comes up by default, which is transform, you know, in amongst these histories and transforms and so on. And you can turn it on and off via view, studio, and down here. So what it does, it doesn't seem to do anything at the moment, it comes to life when we start putting extra layers in here. So I put in a rectangle, and look, this turns up here. In fact, let's drag this up to here so we can see it next to it and we can kind of figure out what it does. Let's go back up to the Move tool. Look, if I move this around, you can see I've got the XY positioning of it here. And if I move it this way, notice the W there, that changes and the height that changes as well so in other words you can use this to, to identify the actual width and height of the thing when you're drawing something like this you can see width and height next to it it appears as i draw it but afterwards i haven't got that information to hand but i have got it in the transform panel so if i selected that it gives that one i've selected this it's got this one the R and the S, R you might guess is the rotating angle. Yes, if I rotate it, that tells me the angle that I'm at. And I can always type in here, so I can always set that back to zero. With these as well, I can also type in formulae. So if I want to make the height twice the width, I put simple 2 star W. There you go. Uh, and other form you type, just do a search in the help on equations that will help you with that. What's the S though? The S is shear. If I put the hover the mouse over one of the middle buttons, you get the two way arrow, so I get shear. See the shear changes there? So again, I can change that. Notice the height changes a bit because it's actually working on the, it's this, the distance between here and here because I've got it slightly rotated. So, so I can set that back to zero. Gives us that sort of thing. What it also gives you is a way of measuring things. So if I got this, there's a box on here or something I want to measure, I can just create a rectangle, go to the edge here, and go up to the edge there, and now I've got the width. If you don't like the what that this is in millimeters, what if you want it in pixels? Simple thing to do is to go to the document, go to resize document, and the units are here, millimeters. If I change to pixels and tap resize but not changing the sizes, it will change, here are, this to pixels, so I know what it is in pixels now. But I haven't resized the document. What you can do as well is, for example, if I want to do, say, file, place, uh, let's take a file, and I'm going to place a file on here, the thing on here, if I want to see what the width of this is and so on. This is the same here. This is a, a placed object here at a, you know, th under there. And so this again gives me the information here for whatever the size is of this. So there you go, it's a handy little thing. Oh, one more thing was this little box here, isn't it? This is the kind of the rotate point. So if I put click on, say, the top left there, if I return here, it still rotates about the middle. But if I type in something on the rotate here, see it turns about that point. And even this rotates a bit to show that I've done that. If I click on the bottom down here, let's go back to zero. If I click on this one there, now if I tip in 10 degrees, see it rotates about that point. So there we go. There's the transform, useful little box gives you a bit of information, lets you use, sort of set up a kind of ruler. You can even rotate the ruler to measure things as well, which is handy. So that's it, and thank you very much for watching.